Hey guys. I'm glad that you joined me today. Um, I'm really glad that you joined me today. Um, let me just make this bigger so I can see up. Okay, so now I can see you all. Um, I was watching Elevation Church yesterday, and um, Pastor Stephen Furtick had a sermon called um, Looking Forward to Normal. And it was basically looking forward to God's new normal, because people always say in this time, I can't wait till things get back to normal. And it was strange because the night before this sermon was preached, I had a dream that God um, dropped a big box on the stage of a church. And he said, and people at the church um, tried to move it, tried to do everything to get it out of the way because it was in the way of the pulpit. And the only, like the people, everybody in the church tried and God said, you can't move it, you have to break it. So God told the pastor, you, you can't move it, you have to break it. And there appeared like a, a, a big sock because it was a huge box and the box just couldn't be moved. So the Lord um, gave the pastor a huge saw and told, and told him to break the box and when the box was broken uh the glory of the lord like this bright light filled the church building and new ideas new something started to arise and this was an amazing dream and i ha had this dream and then i woke up and then this whole um looking forward to normal sermon came across my path and so this sermon if i were to title it youtube is is called breaking the box of normal see before coronavirus we've all we all had our normal way of, of being we all had our normal way of going to the grocery store and doing what we needed to do um, and since coronavirus, our normal has inter has been interrupted. Grocery stores have, are closed and churches are closed and everything is closed. And the Lord said, I don't just want you to look forward to a new normal. I want you to break the box of the old normal so that the new can come in. The Lord wants to release something new. Yes, he does. But in order for that to happen, we need to break the box that we put him in. And he says, I need you to break the boxes in your mind that you put me in and receive my new normal. You can look forward to the, no, no, all, the, the new normal all you want, but unless you give me room to put it, um, it's not going to work because I can't fill new wine skins with old wine. I can't put new wine in old wine skins. I need, if you want the new, you're going to have to make room. So you're going to have to break 
your boxes of normal, what you think is normal, what you think is God, and give him room to move as he wants to in your life, in your church, in your home. God, through this, I really believe, is rearranging certain values, certain perspectives to make room for something new. And I agree with Pastor Verdict in, in that it's not going to be the normal that we we have and it's going to be a new normal. And, um, uh, and I'm looking forward to the new normal that he's going to uh, put in place. But in order to look forward to the new normal, we need to break the box of the old normal. We need to break the box of what we put God in. God is God. He can't be contained. But we've, as a church, we've contained him to our four balls, to our four walls and our mental constructs. And he wants to be freed from that. And he wants to be freed to do in your life, in my life, what what he has purposed to do. And sometimes uh, breaking the box can be scary, but he's gonna he's there. Um, he says he's there in the breaking. You're not alone in this breaking. I know it's scary, but let me do it. And within the breaking, you'll you'll see such blessing and such glory hit your life that you won't even be able to contain it. This is the word of the Lord for today. Help us to receive your new normal. Help us to break our mental constructs. Help us to be, help us to receive the renewing of our minds. We bless you, we praise you in the name of Jesus, amen. So guys, I will see you tomorrow. Hope I hope you're doing well. God bless. Bye. The new normal is not to be feared, it's to be embraced. And in the embracing of the new normal, you'll have a life that you ha that you didn't ever dream was possible. You'll you'll see things that you, you could only dream was possible. You'll you'll see things that you could only envision in your mind that you weren't able to conceive. Just embrace the new normal. I know it's scary, but there's no need to fear because the Lord will be right there in it and he will give you the tools, the, the people, the strategy you need to embrace this new normal. If you, if you break the box, of your old normal to receive this new normal that is coming after coronavirus. Break our mental constructs. Take yourself out of the box, Lord, for which we put you in. We embrace the new in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not going back, I'm moving ahead, I'm here to declare to you, my past is over you, all things are made new, surrender my life to Christ, i moving. Moving forward. I'm 
will follow you. If it burns us, we'll follow you. We'll follow you for God, whatever it takes. And we look forward to, with anticipation to your new normal. But before we do that, we break the box of our old normal in order to receive our new normal. In the name of Jesus, amen. we bless you, God. Heal fear right now. Heal fear of change. Heal, heal fear of the new. God, we bless you. We let you name. Amen. 